Hi everyone, this is your pick a card reading for today and uh, I just wanted to concentrate and think of pile number one, two or three. So if you can concentrate on the crystals, if you want to do blue, green or purple, you can maybe pause the video and concentrate a little bit. Go with your first choice, the gut feeling, and that will be the messages that the angel, God, the higher powers, whatever you want to call, they have it for you today, okay? And I hope you subscribe for more and I'm hoping to put these more of the readings and tarot readings much more in this channel. Thank you very much for your time. I'll have all the descriptions below of where to find those beautiful, beautiful cards, okay? And um, if you need more information, you can reach out directly to me for private readings as well. I can do private readings and all the information will be below. Thank you very much for your time and have a blessed day, okay? If you choose crystal number one, okay, this beautiful blue crystal here, these are the messages for you. This is your first card here, okay? So happiness is my birthright. So this card says so much. It's about you choosing happiness, you knowing that the universe, the higher powers, God, they have chosen happiness for you too. You have the right to be happy. So don't let anybody else or any other bad circumstances going on in your life at the moment, taking you away from that path. Remember, you know, even when things are not going so well, remember, happiness is my birthright. So yes, you have the right to feel happy, to choose, it, to choose happiness, Maybe you have to make some hard choices at the moment and sometimes we have to get rid of things and sometimes even people or relationships that are not really bringing you to the right place. Just choose happiness. You have the right to be happy. Don't settle for less than that. You know, sometimes we are so used to things being halfway there and you're thinking that's okay. Uh, it's better than nothing. No, you deserve the best. Okay, happiness is your birth, right? So not not settling for less. That's what I feel here in this first card. And you have a second card here. Okay, so this is your second card there, a beautiful card, complimenting this one so much, which is a reminder for you. So for you to say that to yourself. I create mindful moments throughout the day. Reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. So remember, you do have to choose that happiness is your birthright. And you can remember, remind yourself throughout the days. Throughout the day, when something bad happened to you, or the bad, or the bad thoughts, or maybe those bad people around you giving you a hard time, that, uh, you know, I am love and miracles are natural for me. You do have good things that can come to you. Believe on that. Remind yourself that uh, they're not that hard. They shouldn't be difficult for you. Open your mind for the good things that could be around. And maybe because of the bad people, the bad things that are going on, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Remind yourself that happiness is your birthright. So create lovely, uh, positive affirmations in your mind, like this one. So save um, a screenshot maybe of this card for you. Read again throughout the days and uh, try your best to move away from some people. And it could be a situation in your work or your family. You have the right to be happy. So choose that for you. Concentrate on yourself. So, we have to put ourselves first many times. If you don't love yourself first, you can't love some, anybody else. Okay, so we have your third card here. Okay, these are from the, uh, the Archangel Gemstone cards. And uh, this card here says for you, Have you been getting outdoors enough? It's time to reconnect with nature. Get out there and put your hands in the earth. Garden, walk in nature, 
play with animals and allow the earth beneath your feet and the sun above your head to nurture and realign you. This is a really good reminder that how do you find this happiness? Because you, you could be looking into reminding yourself you have the, the happiness is your birthright. Lovely positive affirmations for you throughout the day. But what else can you do? What's that next step you can do to achieve that happiness, that peace of mind inside you? Go into nature, okay? Go out, small walks, even around your, just around your neighborhood, just where you are. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting outside the door and dealing with your garden, okay? Planting something, taking care of that flower or, or vegetable garden that you're nurturing. And that will be enough for you to see how close you are to earth and how God is there, the, the higher powers, the universe is there for you to help you out having a positive day, a positive week, guiding you to the right directions, okay? This card also have a lovely affirmation from the uh, Archangel, Archangel Turiel in this case, okay? You can see here, the affirmation in this case is nature nurtures me, animals and other Creatures bring me messages that guide me in my life. My connection with Mother Earth provides vital energy. I am focused and grounded. This is a lovely affirmation, prayer, however you want to call for you, that you can repeat. If you want to again, take a screenshot, repeat throughout the days while you have a, after work, after a hard day of work or school or whatever you're, you're doing a hard way, a day at, at home with kids or whatever your situation is you need that time maybe going outside in nature Af you know say this affirmation to yourself repeat this kind of good positive um, words for you because you deserve that happiness is your birthright you deserve to be happy okay so take this because this is your reading like i say take a screenshot if you if you need to remind yourself of these beautiful words and uh, take yourself into that positive energy inside that you deserve you deserve to be happy okay so uh, group number one the blue crystal this is your reading for today thank you if you are the group number two which is green beautiful crystal this is your reading okay so your first card just is this one beautiful card here Okay, and it says, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. This is a lovely card, right? So sometimes we focus so much on one specific thing and we forget that all conspires in our direction. We can all be together, a, 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 com a combination of different things going on that we, we may be praying, that's just an example, for money or for love and we forget that it could be a combination of other things that pray for everything to to go on well with your life you know make sure that you you have all the areas that you want doing well because it's not a balanced situation when you're doing well in love and you're not doing well in money or you're doing well in your work and you have you like your job but you're not getting any any good money out of it so just think about it instead of praying for an outcome don't, don't pray for one thing just something specific you know you pray for the higher good of all so you don't pray for only money or a relationship you pray for a good life an abundant life all the good things like a fulfilled life uh, your direction in every path you go Okay, so this is your first card and your second card is this beautiful card here, okay? There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. This is very much connected with this one. It's a lovely card and um, again, when you pray for all, like I said, you pray for everything, pray for a fulfilled life because you know that the, that the God, creation, the higher powers, the universe, they are there supporting your dreams. This is an affirmation for you. You can repeat there for yourself in the morning and evenings. Take a screenshot of the card if you need to. You know, there is a stream of love and supporting my dreams. Where is this love? 
is if is it your family is it your friends people around you if they are not there for you or if they are there very good but remember remember there is something else you have the higher powers there for you the angels god the universe they are there for you you just need to reach out okay so reach out don't um, settle for less than you are you deserve you deserve the best so ask ask for it and you will receive so make sure you ask for everything not just one outcome just not just one thing but a fulfilled life because you are supported you are loved your dreams can come true okay and we do have the uh, the third card is this beautiful one from the Archangel uh, Gemstone cards. And I'll read it here for you. It's saying, um, are you in love? Are you craving health and feeling feelings of well-being? Become a conduit for allowing heaven and earth to meet at your center. It is time to acknowledge the essence of the divine love in you. Take the time to nurture yourself. Imagine yourself in the arms of the Divine Mother. This is so beautiful and so connected to these other cards here. And just to remind you, um, I just prayed on these cards and I actually didn't see them before. I'm just seeing here together with you. So this is these cards are coming directed by the Divine Powers because I prayed on them and I just took them. I, I'm not choosing them individually. They are being chosen. Okay, so this is the message directly for you. And this is very clear and say, you can imagine that you are in the arms of the Divine Mother because you can you can have your dreams fulfilled. You can have your outcomes of everything that you want, not just one thing, but the, the highest good of, for all, for everything, for all your life, for people around you. You know, aim, aim high, aim high. Don't settle for less than, than you deserve, all right? So this is a lovely card. Like I said, take a screenshot if you need. There is a, another message in the back of this one, which is a prayer, an affirmation. In this case, from the Archangel Jophiel. Okay, I'll read here for you. Um, Archangel Jophiel says for you, for you to, you, it's a prayer, it's an affirmation for you to repeat, all right? I activate and embrace divine love. My emotions are balanced. I am clear and joyful. I am com compassionate, wise, and tolerant. The qualities of unconditional love, mercy, and understanding emanate from my being. This is lovely and so com it complements so well what you're saying here. So it's like it's, it's aiming for higher, it's aiming for love and for loving yourself and loving others and, and aiming for something much higher. So uh, don't settle for less, don't uh, think that you don't deserve everything because aim for your dreams you have love and support from from god from the higher powers and you deserve your dreams to come true so aim for them imagine that you are on the arms of of you have mercy you you are loved you are loved you have the archangels uh, all protecting and, and guiding you to your dreams so believe on that Af do the affirmations you know, like I say, take a screenshot if you need to and repeat this throughout the day or remind yourself in the, in the morning or evening before sleeping. You know, be grateful for what you have, but aim. Aim higher. Your dreams, you deserve them to come true. Okay? So this is your reading now, uh, group number two, the green cast, uh, crystal. Thank you very much. Group number three, and this is your reading for you if you chose the purple amethyst stone all right so this is your first card here beautiful beautiful card all right so you see here it says i honor how i want to feel this is a very powerful card because it's telling you to honor honor your feelings honor how i want to feel it's very straight it's very straightforward because it's telling you to not just hold on and pretend that you're feeling something else just to please others or to do something else that you don't want to just just to be accepted or going against your nature what you actually want honor how you want to feel sometimes we need to feel angry about something 
sometimes we 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 need to express ourselves that it's how we felt at the time we have the right to be to be angry you don't we don't have the right to be cruel but we have the right to be angry and the, the right to f to feel how we feel if you if you're not happy with the situation at the moment be honest be honest first of all with yourself and then with whoever else is involved in your life is it work school relationship partnership family be honest with yourself first of all honor how you feel and you'll be able to express yourself express yourself with love no no cruelty but you need to be honest because we can't really hold on forever pretending that uh, it's what we want or, or how we feel when it's not it takes it takes a toll on us you know people get sick physically sick because of things that they hold on and they never express themselves so honor how I honor how you feel i honor how i want to feel so make sure you you remember that and you do it be honest with yourself okay that's what this first card is saying we have the second card beautiful card here lovely card so it's saying i am a spirit having a human experience and i'm here to get closer to love that's lovely together with this other one so we need to remind ourselves that we are not just this body that we live on we are a spirit we are spirit beings that will, will move on to a higher um, higher divine um, experiences but how can we move on when we don't even honor ourselves of how we feel so honor yourself remind yourself you're not just this body you're more than that you deserve to be honest to to express yourself to be around people that love you and want to be close to you so express yourself you know be honest with yourself and remind yourself that you are this this is spirit you know this is you're more than what people just look at the first glance you're way more than that so i'm here to get closer to love so why hold on you know you are here to get closer to love allow yourself don't let yourself um, be trapped on the day-to-day -day, um, negativity and people maybe around you uh, don't accept you know you don't need it to be disrespectful but sometimes we need it to cut off some people we need it to be able to make a real choice and think seriously of where we want to be do you want to have good lovely experiences reminding yourself that you are a higher being you are a spirit not just this body this is this this body this is not enough there's much more there's much more for you so remind yourself of that okay and we have here this lovely card here from the from the archangels uh, gemstones card okay this beautiful one here for the copper and it's saying do you need some motivation to transform your reality do you find your mind wandering when you are trying to stay focused if so you need to find your passion and begin experiencing the rewards that come from living it do what you love prosperity is yours but you must take action wow this card goes so much together with those ones and i tell you i am just seeing these cards for the first time with you i did pray on them and i and i took them uh, down but i prayed that for them to come directly for you and how how they are connected this is the divine guiding the cards so it's really saying directly to you on how you feel remind yourself that you are a, a spirit and you are here to to get closer to learn to have experiences and here is saying how you see this is this is actually very very direct saying to you prosperity is yours but you must take action so what do you have to do in your life now for a change what is that change what do you actually want to do you see what are you trying to stay uh, to to do what is your passion what do you actually want think and sometimes it's hard to to think 
Because you say like some people are so talented. I'm not I'm not so talented like that person, that person. Well, we are unique. Each one has their own talent. And sometimes it's not an, an obvious talent like being able to write or speak or or sing or dance or or being very vocal, but you have your talent. Think of something you really like. Think of things that you have done in the past that you had it brought joy to your life. Find your passion. Ask, ask the higher powers. Meditate on it. Take your time, and you will find what you really like if you don't know already. And if you do, go for it. Go for it. What is holding you? You're here. You are a spirit here to get closer to love. How do you get closer to love when you know what you want, what you, what you have to do? When you're passionate about, you find your passion and you go for it. Because sometimes we find our passion, but we don't do anything about it. This prosperity here, you know prosperity in a way to have a prosper life. It's not just about money. It's about having an abundant life, about having happiness, a fulfilled life. It's all the areas, all the areas. And this card is beautiful. You have in the back here also a, a prayer or a, an affirmation, however you want to call from the angel, in this case from Archangel uh, Z Zadikiel, and he's saying, this is for you to, to repeat it to, okay? I am safe. I love constant protection surrounding me. I have constant protection surrounding me, deflecting anything that is not for my highest good. I have the courage and self-confidence to create my world. It is easy for me to take action and move forward in life with joy and enthusiasm. Wow, this is just beautiful. I'll leave it here for you to understand how the angels can guide you, the, the higher powers, however you want to call, uh, with this affirmation. Take a screenshot if you have to. Repeat this throughout the day, morning, evenings, when before you go to sleep. Remind yourself of your day, of the challenge you had. But remember, you are safe. You are protected. You can be guided to the things you want to do. You are worthy. You actually can do it, you know. Sometimes we doubt ourselves. And we are our worst, worst enemies many, many times. But don't doubt yourself. You have higher powers around you, protecting you, guiding you. Take this. And remember, you deserve, you can have the best. And you have so much higher powers around you, guiding you. Remember, it is easy for me to take action. Repeat that. Because sometimes we are stuck. We don't really do what we have to do even when we know. We we find our passion. Maybe we, we know how we should honor our feelings. But we still don't action. These are affirmations for you. Do it. I honor how I want to feel. I am a spirit having a human experience, and I'm here to get closer to love. And remember, you have you have your guides and protection. You, you have a way to get there. Just believe, just pray on it. You will have, you can have a lovely, lovely life. Just action on it. Action is there for you. You just need to reach out. Okay? Well, this is your reading for today and uh, group number three and if you made it this far thank you very much for your time and i hope you subscribe for more thank you very much for your time and have a blessed day okay bye bye